Hey guys, welcome back. This is video number four in our seven part series on being rooted in the gospel. Really in this series, we're talking about how important it is to return to the basics and the simplicity of, of the gospel in times of trouble and shaking. Um, there's so many things in that surface in our emotions that bombard our minds. And one of the things that helps uh, anchor us and root us during times of instability, in times of shaking, in times of pain and grief, is this returning back to the simple things of the gospel. Life can be complicated, but the gospel really is simple. One of my favorite verses is in 2 Corinthians chapter 11. In chapter 11, verse uh, 1 through 3, uh, the Apostle Paul talks to the church at Corinth and urges them um, in a particular uh, truth. Uh, Paul says to them, for in verse 2, he says, I am jealous for you with godly jealousy. And he says, for I have betrothed you to one husband, that's Christ, and that I might present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. In verse 3, but I fear lest somehow... Just as the serpent deceived Eve by his craftiness, so your minds may be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. And so just what we talked about in the second video is how the serpent came to Eve and through craftiness tricked her, deceived her, pulled her away from that which, he, which was the command of the Lord to not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and to only eat from the other trees in the garden. The same way the gospel is uh, simple and it is our safety. In the times of, uh, of trouble and, and increasing pain, it's easy to lean on other narratives other than the gospel narrative. And the gospel narrative, the simplicity that is in Christ, is what we want to anchor our hearts in. We want to root our hearts in the truth of Christ, that God sent his one and only son. He was sinless and spotless, and he took on the penalty that we deserve for our sin. And he paid the price and that we could be forgiven. And in Christ, we have not only the forgiveness of our sin, but we have a restoration of a relationship with God in which he says, you are the righteousness of God in Christ. You are a new creation. The old things have passed away. All things have been made new. And this is the way that God sees us in Christ. And in times of pain and when things are confusing, it's easy to get pulled away from these simple gospel truths and take on the lies that the world, the lies that the culture tries to bombard us with that contradict the truth of the gospel. But the Lord wants to remind us, like Paul, he's jealous for us, that we would return to the simplicity of the gospel and reminding ourselves of these basic truths that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He desires sinners like you and me and he has given us a new reality in Christ that we are not who we used to be, but we have a new beginning in Christ and all things are made new in him. And I just want to bless you guys and I look forward to seeing you in our next video as we continue to talk about the gospel truths that anchor our soul in times of shaking and confusion. May the Lord bless you.